Well, my name is uh, Gabe Lander. I'm a postdoc in Eva Nogales' lab, uh, and she's joint between Lawrence Berkeley National Lab and UC Berkeley. So I'm actually situated at, at UC Berkeley. Uh, and I'm a structural biologist, and I specialize in electron microscopy. So uh, electron microscopy is a really great tool that we can use to look at the machines that run the cell. Uh, and if you can learn, determine the structure of any of these machines, it tells you a great deal about how these machines interact with each other. It's kind of like looking at your car engine. Uh, if you look at your engine, every single piece has to work with every single other piece. And the structure of that each individual component defines how it functions in the, in the motor. And if you have too many broken or, or mangled pieces, then the motor won't work and your car won't run. The cell is very similar. So we use electron microscopy to, to determine the structures of each of these components. And the higher resolution that we can get to, the, the more we can learn about each of these components. So what, in Eva Nogales' lab, um, we, we study microtubules, which are one of the most important parts of the cell. They, they move things around the cell, they determine cell polarization, and most importantly, uh, they're, they're crucial for cell division. When you have the chromosomes all lined up and they're all replicated at the center of the cell, uh, then the microtubules are what are used to, to pull them apart into the, into the daughter cells. Uh, so we're, we've been focusing largely on getting a higher resolution, a better understanding of microtubules and uh, how they function in the cell. If everything doesn't go exactly the way it should, then you can, you can get uh, uneven distribution of the chromosomes or the chromosomes just never divide. This leads to aneuploidy and this it leads to many, many different kinds of uh, cancers and other diseases. I was in college and my mother was, about the same time my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, my father had prostate cancer. And it was just kind of this you know, moment where you realize th these things don't just happen to other people. I know it's so cliched to say that, but yeah, cancer affects you, it affects everyone. Uh, what motivates me, it's, it's, it's actually very selfish. Um, I, I just get such a thrill out of discovering new things. It's, I mean, some people jump out of planes to get you know, that, 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 that huge high, uh, and I solve structures with electron microscopy. It, it happens very uh, few times in your life when you, you, you solve some structure and you're like, wow! Nature is just so cool. They figured out how to, how to do this really amazing um, mechanism uh, or you know, how, to, how, how, to, how to function. Uh, and those, those, those aha moments are so few, but they're just they're so, so thrilling. So I had just assumed there's no way Damon Runney is going to consider uh, my application. And then when I received the phone call, it was just... It was just the most amazing experience. It was, I mean, it, is this the last thing I was expecting to hear? A call from Damon Runyon saying, yes, you've, you've received a Damon Runyon. And I just, I, I literally, I was in laugh and I jumped up and there was no one around. So I just did a dance by my, by my desk by myself. It was really embarrassing for me. Um, and then there was no one around. So I just went, I was just inspired to go down to the microscope and start making some samples. 